All right, now you see, when I swipe diagonally down from the right edge of the screen, I can instantly start recording the screen. I don't really have to open the quick panel, tap on the screen recorder and then start recording the screen. It's right here on the right edge of the screen. When I swipe up, I've got this rectangle smart select option. I can quickly take the screenshot of a particular area and save it with just a swipe up from the right edge of the screen. Then when I swipe diagonally down and hold my finger, I've got task switcher here. This is the list of applications which are open in the background. I can close them all, search for them, or close individual apps, or I can tap on the three dot button to access more options. Different apps will show me different associated options when I tap on this three dot button. Now when I swipe diagonally up and hold my finger, the screen rotates to landscape mode. These are some fantastic gesture handles which I have added using the one hand operation plus application. Likewise, you see from the left edge of the screen, when I swipe diagonally down, I have got this app tree. I can place any application icons I want and directly access them from the left edge of the screen. I can set some of the important frequently used applications right here which can be quickly accessed. When I swipe up from the left edge of the screen, I get these quick toggles along with the volume bar right there which can be easily accessed. Now all this I can execute using my thumb and holding the phone in just one hand. That is just incredible, isn't it? This magic is possible on your Samsung Galaxy phones through one hand Operation Plus application. Now you guys wanted me to do a separate video on this and here it is. Now, when we open the application, you get this toggle on the top to switch it on. And then we have got left handle, right handle, advanced settings, gesture settings, and we can also customize the touch width, size, and position of the gesture handles. And the cherry on the cake is handle colors. You can customize the handle colors as well using this option right here at the bottom. Now, let me just tap on left handle. You see, I've got short swipe options, straight right, diagonal up, diagonal down. Now, generally I set the straight right or straight left options as back keys because that is something which we need when we use the phone. So I don't touch these options. I only customize the diagonal up, diagonal down from the right side as well as the left side of the screen. Now, when I tap on diagonal up, you see we have got an entire list of swipe actions which can be selected. I don't really want to get into each of them. You can see it yourself. There's a huge list of options. And at the bottom, we have got some options which can be customized by tapping on the settings button. We have got widgets pop up, task switcher, quick toggles, virtual touchpad, floating navigation buttons, keyboard shortcuts, quick launcher, hide handle. All these can be customized by tapping on this settings icon. And this is the same list that you get for each of these swipe handles. Whether you want to customize the stride right or stride left, diagonal up or down, you'll get the same list of actions and you can select the one you want for each of those swipe gestures. Now see right below this, we have got long swipe option. When you enable this, you get straight right, diagonal up, diagonal down, which can perform different actions when you do a longer swipe and hold your finger on the screen. Again, we get the same list of actions here. You can set the action for a specific swipe gesture. Just swipe your finger from the edge of the screen and hold it. You will be able to execute the action. So basically you can execute six different actions from one edge of the screen with short swipes and long swipes. And the same can be done from the left edge of the screen. So total 12 actions can be executed using your thumb in just one hand. Sounds just crazy, isn't it? Now, apart from doing all this, we can also change the animations for these gestures. We can select from four different options we got arrow one, arrow two, arrow three, and we also have this curved line. And when you select this curved line, we can customize it further by selecting the color. We have got fill color, arrow color, and outline color. You can just select your preferred color here. And we also have app exceptions option by tapping on which you will get this list of uh, applications. And when you enable a switch for a particular application, the swipe gesture will not work on that particular app. That is so thoughtfully done. And if you're using a Galaxy phone with S Pen, you will be able to use the gesture through the S Pen. All you need to do is just enable this S Pen gestures toggle. And then we also have a few toggles here. We can hide handles in landscape mode, quick panel, lock screen, home screen. There are so many things to customize here on this application. Apart from these, we also can customize the gesture settings. We can customize the swipe distance. We can keep it short or long using the slider. And we can also set vibrations whenever a gesture is recognized instead of waiting until you release your finger from the screen. And there is custom vibration intensity option as well. This is just insane customization we have got for these gesture handles. Using this app, we are not just setting up the actions for the gesture handles. We can also deeply customize all these gesture
texture handles, the way it appears, how far you want to swipe on the screen, the vibrations, the touch width and size. There are so many things to customize and this is just a brilliant application from Samsung and it's a must have application if you are using any of the Samsung Galaxy phones. And at first you might find this application to be a little confusing but once you set them up and once you start using you will get used to it and this will make you love your Samsung Galaxy phone because any actions can be executed using the phone in just one hand and not just the phones even on the tablets the large screen devices this is a must have application because using a phone in one hand is still possible but on the Galaxy tabs you need to use two hands so make sure to install this application on the tabs as well so that you can execute many functions by using just one hand. Let me know what do you think about this application, have you been using it, drop a comment and a tap on the subscribe and like button would be much appreciated. We are inching closer to 100k subscribers so with your support this is possible. Go ahead subscribe to the channel and give this video a like. Thanks for watching. My name is Salyan signing off. Cheers. Bye bye.